Hey, good morning, guys. We're in the MX-255 uh, Case Tractor. Um, we're going to go over a little bit here how to operate it. And we're going to pull it up and put fuel in it. And um, this has a buddy seat in it. I do have some cardboard on the carpet to keep it clean. These are my controls right here. It puts the blade down. So you push down or front to go down, back for up. Then we got our tilt right here, number two. So that's all you need to operate the blade. Uh, we have our PTO here, our four wheel drive. We have a four wheel drive or automatic for slippage. Um, Automatic shift up and down. These are for your uh, automatic to drop your uh, three point. And we have our screens up here. Turn these on here in a minute. There we go. So you can see we're about three quarters of tank, not quite. We're gonna go fill her up with the tank. So. First thing you want to do is push your clutch in. I go ahead and go into forward. This is a shuttle shift, so uh, when you're packing, all you gotta go to neutral, back to reverse. No clutch. Forward. Same thing. And it, it does a little bit better job. Run a little bit of more RPMs. I use around 1500. Back to neutral, forward, and that's how it works pretty smoothly. So we're gonna pull up here and fill it up. I'm gonna hit the building air. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and shut it off while we're putting fuel. So I'm gonna just put the blade down just a little bit. So I can walk around here a little bit. Go ahead and just take the key and turn it to the off position. Same as it go to start it. It does beep a lot when you... So. It does have a foot throttle. I like the hand throttle. Here's your up shift, down shift, and all your outlets for your remotes. And back here we have pretty much uh, the beacon lights, air conditioning, just your wipers, uh, automatic uh, uh, power mirrors, right to left. Oh, and here's some more of your uh, controls for your flow. Alright, let's put some fuel on. I gotta fill this girl up. This has two tanks on it. So you have the big tank on this side here. About half there now on this side. And then we have a tank on the other side. It's gonna take quite a bit of fuel to get it back full. I did set it zero, so we'll see how much it takes to get it back up there. Um, trailer Borg. We run these Trailer Borg in the T800s on the front. And if you guys uh, want more information, you can go ahead and get a hold of uh, Chris at TrailerBorgUS.com. They have a plant down in South Carolina where they make these tires now. So they're made here uh, in the U.S. And um, I just like how these tires really grab, especially in packing and stuff. Um, on the back they have the extra cleat on the uh, 700s and this is what Chris was talking about the other day this is where you ride on the top and this gives you access to more pushing power uh, especially on corn silage these are the MT 700s on the back 620s, 70 R42s 
yeah. Very happy with these tires. So, yeah, give uh, Chris a shout out if you guys want uh, more information on these tires. And uh, he, he is a very knowledgeable person. And uh, he was on Machine Repeat here with his ad on the, some of these new tires on uh, his channel. So you can check out that on Machine Repeat. Um, I don't want to pronounce his last name yet because I don't want to mess it up. But I know his first name's Chris. So we want to put these tires on the 4250 yet. The... 8320 so they have the records of the hours so far what I have on them and stuff and they have a great uh, team uh, to come out and service them and change them so yeah you can see the corn the sugars on the side walls here that's when you see it sticking on there and I'll come off so we're filling up the fuel and uh, Getting ready to pull out of here. I did grease it the other day, so we only used it a little bit. Uh, should be good there. Checking engine oils. That's done on the other side. That oil stick right here, real easy to grab. That's the engine oil. Transmission right there coolant right there and we're good on our coolant and fuel windows are pretty clean so we should be ready to pull out of here shortly I made sure all my lines are all up and nice and neat so they're not dragging Just a couple extra straps Whenever you can take some time out to make sure you don't have downtime, and it's always good. There you can see we have it clear full. It is going down there a little bit, going over to the other tank, so we'll let it settle down and then we'll top it off. And that'll give us uh, enough fuel for sure. Now I do put this on some Pico uh, Super uh, Diesel Cleanse in here. It's an anti-gel, uh, especially as we're coming into cooler uh, months. Um, just helps to get it in the system. Um, it's usually one gallon of this uh, cleanse to every 200 gallons. So this holds about 160 gallon of fuel. So you can figure that out how much I put in. And uh, what are Improves uh, throttle sprint, uh, response, stops rusting, keeps fuel fresh. So I use all some Pico products here on the farm, and a lot of you guys know that. So it really does a nice job in filters and stuff like that and keeping these tanks fresh. So we'll see how much fuel went down. And we'll put some more in here shortly. Alright guys. We'll be in the, the bunk uh, later on today. So hope you have a great morning and, uh, and we'll talk to you later. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.